I came to think of doing some basic non-tantric or sutric meditation practices in the light of knowing awareness uh, instead. So how many of you have heard of following of the breath? That exercise? You ever heard of that? <laughs> um, so let's do that. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, in the in the light of knowing awareness, um, I will tie tie that to the practice. You probably already know, or you should know, what I what I mean with that. So, um, in this session, we have hour and a half to go. So we will sit about forty minutes, then do some. Uh, Chokchen dancing in between 10-15 minutes and then we'll sit another about 40 minutes. <coughs> and feel free to change your posture, adjust your posture if you need to. Uh, if, it, if the posture for one reason or the other feels uncomfortable. First Aligning the body, feeling into the body, extending the spine, checking that the weight of the body is resting on the sitting bones, make sure that your lower back is straight so that your uh, the navel is in the front. The navel is not resting in the back, it's in the front. And you can for a moment, as if with the crown of your head, push against the ceiling so that your spine lengthens. But then don't keep pushing, then relax. When you push with your head to the ceiling, towards the ceiling, what also happens is that your chin comes, assumes the same sitting posture. Chin down. Your hands can be on the knees, palms down or palms up, or you can have them joined in on, on your lap, or you can have the Ati Yoga Mudra. Buddha's meditation mudra. Mouth can be closed or open. Teeth can be joined or apart, slightly apart. Eyes can be closed or open. Following the movement of the breath. First of all, uh, as I mentioned earlier today and earlier this week, for those who joined the pre retreat, this knowing awareness is easiest to recognize here in the eyes, in the head area. That's where it sits. And it's from there that we turn our attention, whether it's through the ears when we listen something, or through the eyes when we look at things, or in this case, when we feel into the movement of the breath in the area of the belly, lower belly, we turn we use, first of all, we use our attention and we turn it, we aim it, we direct it so that we can be aware of the movement of the breath in the belly. So there are two things happening here. Knowing awareness, selfless awareness, 
as well as that attention attached to the movement of the breath in the belly. So you simply follow how the in-breath happens, begins, stays, stops, how the out-breath begins, stays, stops, there are brief pauses between in and out breath and out and in breath, brief stopping there. So you simply follow that flow of in and out breaths and those short stops. Simply staying with the movement, staying and staying and staying and staying. And when the attention gets distracted into thoughts, planning, reminiscing things, then you bring the attention back to at attend the movement of the breath in the belly. And that's the practice. It is also a classical shamatha or calming down meditation practice with the exception that I have pointed out that knowing awareness, if you don't know about this basic knowing and you simply only use the attention or concentration of the breath, then it's a very, very different practice. So that knowing awareness gives a very different context for this samatha exercise. Doesn't it? If you're getting distracted constantly, then what you can do is that you can momentarily look at the movement of the breath more keenly, with more intensity. Increase the intensity for half a minute, minute, two minutes, and then uh, relax that heightened intensity again. And you will see a change. This getting distracted uh, stops. If it keeps happening, then keep heightening the focus momentarily.
learn to use the muscle of being focused. Being attentive of the movement of the breath from basic knowing. If there are thoughts or you hear sounds or your, if you have eyes open, if you're, uh, you partially look at something in the field of your vision, but do not get distracted of the breathing. That is not distraction. So as long as the attention stays, even partially where it's supposed to stay, having other things in the field of your perception is completely fine. On the other hand, if your attention goes fully to hear sound, to see an object or things, or follows a thought or a train of thoughts, that is distraction. When you lose the focus of the exercise. That's what distraction in the context of shamatha meditation means, in the context of ati yoga distracting means losing sight of the natural state. 
but that's another thing. Feel into the movement of the breath in the belly and sort of like zooming in into it. Feel the very starting point and ending point of the in-breath as well as the very starting point and ending point of the exhalation. Where does that physical movement of breathing in the belly, where does it end, a start, and where does it end? Find that very physical location. Looking into that point. Isn't it curious that even though the breath keeps moving in and out, this point of the physical movement of the breath in the belly, And now, there is that point that seems to be still in the lower belly. And there is that, in quote marks, point in the head where the knowing is easiest recognized. Is that knowingness same in both points, both locations? in the head and in the gut. Is there same knowingness there? Look into that. Now tell me, nod or shake, is it same, same knowingness or different? In the head and in the gut. In both. Nod or shake? How do we tell you which is? Sorry? Can you repeat your question? So the question is, is that this knowingness is easiest recognized in the head and eyes. Right? And then there is this sort of like a point of stillness that's, that is at the beginning and at the ending of the movement of the breath in the belly. Is that phrase, is my English good enough to convey the meaning? So the point is to, the um, question is to look at that point of stillness in the belly and look back 
into your head space to that point in the head and see if that knowing quality is the same in both. Look at it a little bit more. I already saw most of you were nodding. But to clarify, and even if these pointers don't become clear, in this session you can exercise, do this exercise on your own to come to certainty. Okay, so it does seem that this knowing quality is the same at that incitation's point of stillness. Although there is no point, it, just, uh, it seems that there is a point, something like a point location. How about then the in and out, out breaths themselves? Feel it. So it's like a, is it perpetual, continuous, continuous movement, perpetual movement? Don't restrict your breathing, don't tense the muscles in the belly. Letting the movement be completely free, free flowing. And then it's the same knowingness in the movement of the breath as in the head. Is the same knowingness that is easily found in the head area also found in the movement of the breath in the belly? Yes, no. It seems like it is. Good. Stay with it for a moment. So this basic knowingness knowing quality rikpa vidya knowledge quality seems to be there in the moment of the breath in the belly then feel the 
motion, pulsation of the breath in your whole body. It is a, a bit more subtle physical sensation, but the breath does actually make the whole body move. Physical body. Simply staying with the movement, pulsation. Very nice, isn't it? Here it is easy to see how alive your body is. But also see whether this full body breath knows itself. If that same knowingness is there. As you look into that question, it might happen that the breath stops moving for a moment. That still point expands into the whole body. That's totally fine. Is that same knowingness in the movement of the breath in the whole body? Is it? A nod or a shake? Uh, so the question is, some of you might have, might, didn't, might not hear me. The question is that when you feel the full body breath, or feel very little, put some more energy into the invitation. In other words, open yourself more when you make the invitation.
and just completely relax, surrender in the presence of the master, just like you relax and surrender in hot bath. Feeling his presence in your whole body, in your heart, in your energy, energy field. Again, the basic knowing is the same as without Guru Yoga. And you can also feel that Guru Rinpoche to whose presence you are most used to, Krishna's presence is very different, very different kinds of kind of energy. Nevertheless, it reveals that richness, subtlety, of the Mahasiddha attainment of yourself as Mahasiddha.
you are picking up the vibe quite well. Quite nice uh, learning during the last year. But to make it clearer for you, let's chant his name a few minutes. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, 